So here we have a video walkthrough of our Pemberton Elite 32 by 12 2 bed from 2006. It's priced at 10,950 and it's got double glazing and electric panel heaters. I'm going to give you a quick look around, show you the layout and features and condition. So at the front here of the lounge, we've got this wraparound fitted seating area, which is in generally pretty good condition. Cushions are, are all thick and um, comfortable and no, no great stains or rips or anything like that on there. Uh, we, our carpets um, in the front end here are pretty poor to be honest, there's a bit of a, a rip uh, in the middle and in front of the fire it's pretty pretty warm there. We can replace this um, and with the state of the carpet here we do that free of charge. Put a new bit of carpet down there for you in the living dining area. So if that's putting you off then do not worry. Gas fire here which is in generally quite good condition, got a little bit of rust on around the front um, but it's generally pretty good. Got a nice mirror unit over the top there with a couple of glass cupboards. Um, nice area there for a TV, um, shelving, things like that. Um, just looking at the cupboard units, there's a bit of delamination um, as pretty usual with this style of door. Um, again, it's going to scrape a little bit, quite easily just edge that one. Um, bits and pieces we can do. We can always talk about that, but um, I won't highlight that from now on, but just be aware this sort of door at least in the kitchen living area are prone to that happening little coffee table um, so we've got door into the lounge there exterior door and then we've got one further back into the hallway double glazed as I said dining area fitted seating area here which again nice cushions on there no problem with them little mirror and um, glass covered unit on the wall Turn into our kitchen then, um, it's it's sort of open plan but then it has got a slight recess there away from the living area. Got a tall fridge freezer in the gap there, uh, microwave space over the top. Gas oven, grill and hob as usual. Plenty of cupboard storage around the top of the sink, around the side and then your uh, sliding units, your drawers there and little cubby holes there maybe for a couple of bottles of wine. But all clean and tidy as I say, a bit of delamination on the edges and cupboards, uh, cupboard edges and drawers, but again you just carry on and use those doors and drawers, no problem, not going to cause you any grief. Um, carpets again, stepping from there back to the hallway, not brilliant, um, just looking at the carpets here, we can have a discussion, um, but actually carpets throughout the caravan would certainly be beneficial and something we could do. Main bedroom at the back of the caravan, as you can see we've got a double bed um, with the van base in here. Um, beds against the offside, the head end is against the offside there. Cupboard units over the top with a couple of bedside tables. Glass, um, double glazed um, window on the rear of the caravan there, up against the fence. A little bit darker in here at the moment because of that. Um, we've got a little panel radiator there. Um, that's just off electric panel heater rather than radiator, sorry. And then we've got our storage unit. So we've got a mirror and drawer unit in the middle there, plus then. Um, cupboard units either side, so good hanging space there. So just swiveling around, show you this bedroom again. It's a good size double really for, for it obviously being a slightly shorter caravan. Stepping out of there we're back to our hallway area as you can see and across from there we find our twin room. Stepping into here again, same, exactly the same style mattress and um, divan beds, um, so the, all the beds matching in here at the moment. Fabric headboard which again is the same as the main bedroom. Um, cupboard units over the top. We've got a long uh, hanging space here. Well, actually, it's got a shelf in the middle. So hanging space below, so it's two two part hanger um, there. And then spinning around, we've got a little mirror unit and um, electric power heater. Opposite there, so by our second exterior door, we've got our gas water heater in the cupboard here, which obviously all gets tested as and when we sell the caravan. And then walking back through our hallway here, show you the bathroom where we've got toilet, as you'd expect, panel heater there with towel rail, and then we've got our sink and shower. So all in one cubicle there. So you've got a plastic topper. This door opens up to sort of obviously a two-thirds door there. So. It's a good size shower really, once you step into it, um, you've, you've got a quite a wide shower, so that's decent. Um, so it's a pretty clean and tidy caravan. Like I say, carpets would be definitely something that we could look at doing. Uh, we'd really raise the, the sort of feeling of the caravan with some new carpet in here. Um, but you've got your double glazing, you've got your electric panel heaters. 
So just walking back through, we're going to step outside and have a look around. Bright day here, so that's nice. Come around to the front here. And down the non-door side here, you can see that things are all quite clean and tidy nothing to write home about back of the caravan needs a bit of a wash off got a couple of holes at the top or screws really rather than aerial clips there where the aerial's been and the wiring a little bit of rust on the top there but nothing um, nothing too bad a bit green on this door side here needs a good wash like I say but that'll all be done a um, couple of screw holes and things but generally speaking all fairly tidy around the outside drop down and show you the chassis which is a painted chassis but as you can see absolutely fine no problems at all with the chassis so we're good to go on there obviously we check all those things chassis legs and wheels gas testing all those bits and pieces that we do once the caravan sells so this is a video walkthrough of our Pemberton Elite priced at 10,950. It's a 32 by 12 from 2006. It's got double glazing and electric panel heaters.